so this is my converted uh, revi as you can see i have a set of 32 cells and uh, two are in parallel and 16 of those two are in series so it's making a 48 volt system um, these are eve 105 ampere hour cells as you can see uh, the ems is completely disconnected and i have used the charger e charger and the charger e bms here is the bms and its lcd unit is here you can see this is the port where the 240 volts comes and this wire was uh, this inside wire was coming from this side and i had to remove the wire and then push it from there uh, it's coming out from the voltage regulator i think inside that and um, this is the wire uh, from this charger so when you connect the charge charging port it comes to here 240 volts and then it turns on the charger so which uh, converts uh, AC into DC and then it's connected plus is connected to this side minus is connected to this side and then um, the batteries are obviously connected to the plus and minus there's the 48 volt system and then 12 volts output comes from the original charger and then there's the bms this is the charger 16 t bms and uh, so this connect battery connection is in this pattern one two three four five six eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and then sixteen so this is the main negative this is the main positive <coughs> so each of these cells are connected to the bms 16T and then there's various ports um, that's coming from both sides and uh, the main battery negative is connected to the shunt yeah and then there are current sensors in the BMS and this shunt is a 300 ampere shunt it's calibrated from the factory and there's this uh, white uh, port communication port uh, i had to custom make this uh, telephone wire so it could route from you know all the door frame and then into the dash and it's coming out from the uh, cd player so it's connected to that and uh, i don't use the cd player much so um, it's just attached by the custom frame <laughs> and you can see you know there's a little bit of difference between the cells and um, this is the meter and yeah everything seems to be going well till now um, i haven't tested it fully but i have uh, tested up to 75 kilometers and the soc was saying 50 around 45 percent uh, it still had like 52 volts on the voltmeter so i'm guessing this would run up to 100 uh, kilometers at least.
so this the total ampere hour of this cell would be 210 ampere hours yeah got the cover so the one end is totally cut and there's a hole so it could be used uh, to access the charger uh, button and the air could also flow out from there adding the cover we have this extra luggage space which is very handy if you are carrying things around with kids in the back and there's no space left so I can uh, access the dials and the air from here could go out I'll probably put a fan or a cover here so you know you can only access this when need, when needed when charging and then I'll also probably put a cover here so, uh, and, and probably a fan so there's uh, um, air flow inside that uh, you could see the fan originally was here so we could just uh, put a new fan around here you see once I connect the charger it's automatically set to on so it is charged at 10 amperes and it indicates charge here as well seats we have ample amount of space where you can add some shopping bags very nice.